virus has brought us together in what you know i would never have met you guys so yeah i'm thankful for that i just felt like i wanted to do something um yeah. i think our community is not foreign to isolation or no. having to stay home yeah, no. um, no, no, for no. other reasons for other reasons than a virus i said right. yeah and i said yesterday i finally feel i finally feel normal <laughs> right yeah, I actually look forward to this. Like, I I would have looked like before. I would have looked forward to like going out. But yeah. this is like a form of going out. Being exactly. Like, oh, it is your age. <laughs> it's yes. so true. Well, it's and so like, it's so exciting for me. I'm like, yay! I get to oh. be on the computer and looking at so, people. Yeah. You know, I remember what it was like growing up, not having any community, no role models. Yep. And that was one of the reasons I wanted to create One Leg Up Productions because there's no need in our day of technology and social media for anyone to feel like they're alone or disconnected or not understood. There's so. power in this room, guys. There's different ways to claim your disability, uh, but I think one of the biggest things is we're just working on changing people's perception of the terminology. Disabled is not yeah. a bad word, it's mm -hmm. a culture. What are we doing here, folks? We're celebrating. Yeah, I just is really cool. Just, I hope like, so. Interview your mom and be like. What advice would you give parents raising yeah. disabled children right now? Because yeah. in, a, in an ideal world, and Pauline knows this because I did not grow up with a supportive family environment. In an ideal world, I want every disabled person to grow up with that kind of love and support yeah. for your own body and your own spirit and your mind. No, this I time would make that. dating a, a little more challenging, I would say. Yeah, when, <laughs> yeah. old school ladies, they gotta be writing us letters. I, I know. Right? Right? Yeah, yeah, they have to like school. write us letters in the mail. When I'm Today, so have you guys seen Crip Camp yet? Oh, I yeah. have not I seen loved it. Yet, it. I cropped. 15 minutes in, I was already crying. Oh, oh. Girl, I know, I saw it. I just like, I'm crying too. Crip yeah. Camp, for anyone who hasn't seen it, highly recommend it. I wish there were like 10 stars you could give it because it was such an insightful yeah. um, and eye opening, even for me. Uh, to see the disability rights movement from its inception. Um, what I loved about uh, the Crip Camp movie is that it brought to light the alliances that the disability movement made with the Black Panthers, with yeah. the LGBTQ community. Like, it was amazing. It brought everybody's perspective wow. together. Right. Is it a series? Like, is no, it, it's a, no, it's, it's a documentary. A it should be a series, though. Yeah. You know what? Maybe we will continue the legacy of Crip Camp and create a series, I, right? right. So, yes. The disability, even, uh, it's central to our lives, but it actually, because it doesn't discriminate, right mm -hmm. it can enter into every community it's like we're like yeah. the uniting factor and we're bringing together all sorts of people and innovative minds and you know it's just uh really amazing to see us be able like our disability can be a catalyst to actually bring unity mm -hmm. even though mm -hmm. the outside world would um probably it, at first glance think it divides us but actually it doesn't it unites us because mm -hmm. like, we're all different races we're all different genders yeah. maybe we all have different sexual orientations different like, genders, i don't know yeah. but there's so much right. in one person yeah. and, I, and i love that i just love that we're like a, a central all this together yeah. connector yeah. I, just, mm -hmm. I think how it's interesting how 
Like we all got to be where we are. And like, I definitely would not be who I am if I had arms and legs. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I would probably have been a horrible teenager. <laughs> <laughs> probably a teen pregnancy or you know like that's I don't know that's what I you would be basic that's why we so fabulous right and so like for us to be able to go where we're like come from where we've come from no yeah. matter where that starting point was to then jump to where we are I mean that that journey is so fortifying in who we in who we became who we are now. You Disability know? shapes our identity, you know, and we talked about that on our chair chat. I mean, it really defined I mean, some people think that's a bad thing, but in a lot of ways it can be really, really good. And you know, we're all meant to have the experiences we're supposed to have. You know, we have the same disability, but in a lot of ways, you know, we're very, very different. Mm -hmm. And everybody's stories need to be told. How are you doing? I'm okay. I mean, some days are better than others. Some days are worse than others. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, I didn't, I didn't come out of this completely unscathed. I have depression anxiety, uh -huh. social anxiety, I have PTSD from the trauma. Jessica, uh, I know that, I know that cool. feeling because I get injections all the time on my hip and I can't imagine what you go through and you're an inspiration for all of us here and if you ever need somebody to talk to, just shoot me a friend request on Facebook and that's for everybody here. Oh, yeah. But there's depression, but there's also celebration. Like right side, like right, right now, like I agree with Aaron. Right now, we're all here celebrating, all in quarantine. Mm -hmm. Legit, we're kind of awesome, y'all. Let's yeah. be around people who get it, and that's that's our message. That's something I haven't found in like the real world. People who truly understand me versus you guys that you guys understand me. You guys, have you ever had yeah. somebody come over to you randomly when you're at a restaurant and just start praying over you yeah. all the time? Yeah. All the time. Like, have you ever had people look at you funny for parking in the handicap spot until they realize you're handicapped? y'all disabled parking spots are very hard to come by they are available they are there they're just used by yeah. anybody else i think that's a universal experience why, why, is one thing? why isn't disability rights a part of public schools cu curriculum i'm currently it should be. For that. Yep. that's you know true it would help grow it? understanding There's really something special when you can make connections with people who um, understand what you're going through on a more intimate level. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but also, also we can learn we can learn things about other people's condition that we don't yeah. we don't understand ourselves. Yes, absolutely. Um, I mean, we know something about being disabled, and we have something in common from that. But every disability is different. I feel like. There's yeah. a lot of connections. Jen, I didn't know you were an OT by trade. Jessica, thank you for being open and sharing your, um, in, in being open to educate people. Um, I think that's a great attitude. I so much. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I was born without arms and legs, so I don't have the same experience as it being, you know, freshly taken and, and having phantom pain. So even just in how we, obtain our disabilities can change mm -hmm. our perspectives and our like goals. molly and i we talk on our podcast all the time yeah we have cerebral palsy i use a walker she uses a wheelchair but that doesn't mean we always have the frame of reference of what every disabled person goes through. yeah i want people to be educated about it because i mean you know there's a lot of a lot more physical disabilities, a lot more intellectual disabilities, but you don't hear the word amputee very often, if at all. Yeah. Um, so, that. so it, yeah, if, if anybody's got a question, please ask. I don't care how and stupid you think it is. So, there's a blaze oh, sure. coming, and we are about yes. to. I love Aaron's disabled and fierce. Um, I love that. Let's mm -hmm. keep this community oh. going and growing. Yes. Take off. But uh, I, okay. I want to thank you guys so much mm -hmm. for this. I 
I needed this so bad Yay! today. Yeah, I did too. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> for, not, for helping me not feel alone in the midst of all this crap. Yeah. I'm just thankful for Facebook and this community. Cause